And I believe there are those individuals that walk among us that have a spirit that is so very unique and exceptional. And I, I believe my dad was that kind of person. Oh. But that didn't mean he was born with everything. That's I think okay. it's important for even young people to understand and other people yeah. that you learn it, that you grow, because you're open to doing that. He grew all the time. He was learning all the time. To the day he died, he was learning all the time. He always wanted to know what were new things in the world, what were new inventions, what new what thoughts were going on. He was not a person that just got stagnant and said, mm -hmm. oh, I read this book, now I'm done, and now I don't read another book. I mean, he just didn't do things that way. He right. always asked that question, what's going on? What's new in the world? What do you, no, not with the media. What else are you hearing underneath the media? The other thing I always remember, like Nita said, always reading. We always ate dinner together as a family. We had, had to be in a book club every summer. And We'd ask each one a certain time to, what, what did they have to read? Or what did he you wanted want to know that we yeah. actually read the books. Yeah. And he taught us, be afraid. Why are you going to be afraid? If you're standing up for the right reason, for, for justice and humanity, then you stand up. And you know what? You can lose something in the process. You can even lose your life. But then what's the sense of living it? If you have to live in fear. And he was yeah. a devout Catholic, and, went, and yeah. uh, he was also had great humor because a reporter asked him one time, Corky, you know, because Catholics always made the sign of the cross, and a reporter asked him, Corky, does making the sign of the cross help you? And he goes, only if you know how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> he was real uh, sympathetic also with animals when he was young. I can remember he found a kitten in the alley, a pretty little cat. He took care of that cat like if he's taking care of a child. He used to go uh, uh, what we called junking in those days. He'd go gather bottles and sell them just to buy cat food. And he he had a pad made up for her where she would sit in the window well. And he'd check on her every day when he get home from school. Even on his deathbed from close to die, he asked me, did I teach my children to give back to their community? And I was like, you sure did. He goes, is everybody doing it? And I said, in there with Omri, yes, they are. And he was like, okay, good. And then he rest, He was resting. But that was a question he just, he needed to know that he had taught us to give back and, and give back in any way that we could. We don't all give back the same way. Right. But I think we've all learned that it's important to give back to, to your that. community, whatever community yeah. it is. I am Joaquin. The odds are great, but my spirit is strong. My faith unbreakable. My blood is pure. I am Aztec prince and Christian Christ. I shall endure. I will endure.